What's up guys? Hunter here. I'm going to put out another quick video. A lot of questions of on the channel, also getting some mails. Just uh, some tips and questions. We'll go through it real quick. I wanted to show you the gear right now and what we're going to go for. We're going for a uh, firewall plate and we're going to upgrade that. As you see, uh, most of my jewels are getting up to purple. I do have a gold jewel, and it is infantry defense, which that is my front line, always will be front line. We are getting close to where we're getting everything up to purple, and then except except here, guys, we got we got a lot of blue here, and getting really close to bringing this up to blue, and we will be buying packs here soon. So hopefully we'll get all this up. I am going to get rid of the blight ring. I don't know what I'm going to put in here though. Can't really decide. I don't think the blight ring is really, really worth it. I, I want something with more attack. And I think to get this to gold is going to be near to impossible. Not something I really want to go after. So I gotta I gotta think about what I'm gonna do there besides the blight ring. We'll be using all the all the uh venom for the bee helmet. And we're gonna try to get this uh, I I think this bee helmet is pretty pretty stout as far as which one to go through. And I think this is the route I am gonna go and go for upgrading that. So all the venom will go on that, and then the blueprints we'll use on this firewall plate. So we'll start uh, banging on that, and I mean the attack on this is is awesome. Infantry attack and cavalry attack, and even the army HP. So those are the routes we're gonna go, and we are gonna go. I heard the frostwig sword is. Uh, pretty pretty easy to upgrade so we're going to stick with that because he, if it's possible to get this up that's some pretty good uh, stats to get if i'm able to get that if i start buying packs it's a little ways out but i think that we're going to keep the frostwig sword and go that route with that so here we are guys we're going to go over the wall real quick you guys should uh, check this right when you get off this is what i use for my wall uh, both, both Rose Knight and Bob and Goblin. If you are a uh, free-to-play trap, those are must-haves. Rose Knight and Bob and Goblin. That's uh, because of the army attack, guys. You you can't beat, cannot beat the army attack. They both have twenty percent. Uh, Rose Knight's a little bit better because she boosts your cavalry HP. I like, remember. I have uh, infantry front line, so I go. I do go with Demon Slayer, and I go with uh, Oath Keeper here. They both have infantry attack and HP. Both great heroes. Those, I think three I would go for, and I do have another. Instead of an, a cav hero hero up there, I do have a range hero up there, and that'd be Snow Queen. Now, you can put anything as range unless you're going to have range as your front line. You could even use tracker as your front line because I, I know you're everybody's saying, well, what about the HP? If you're a trap, they're usually not going to get back to your range. If you're just a free-to-play trap, you're going to do infantry or cav as your front line, and you're going to build 700 T1 range. I'm not talking about a rally trap. So it doesn't matter what hero, as long as you're getting attack stats for your back line and your range, because they will never be your front line. And like I said, guys, I, I strongly believe on picking cavalry or infantry as your front line and building T2. And never switch it. So, and you guys seen I'm an infantry front line. And that's, that's the heroes I pick. That's what I have on my wall. Uh, get, I'm getting a lot of questions. You guys should check your wall right now because I'm seeing a lot of YouTube videos of people having uh, purple and blue heroes up there. Guys, there's no reason you should have a purple or blue hero on your wall. You should check when you log back on and make sure your wall is updated because these are huge stats you need for your wall. 
Uh, take them off. I don't care if they're play to play, pay to play heroes. Take a purple hero off all day long because it is not going to give you the stats of what you could get from a, a gold hero, even free to play. I don't even care if it's army attack. I wouldn't put Watcher on blue or purple uh, because you're just not going to get the stats from it. You got 4% or 5% army health, 4% army attack. It's not worth it. Take them off your wall. Put a free-to-play hero up there. I, I see people that don't even have Rose Knight up there. Rose Knight's a great hero to have on your wall. Put it up there. So, guys, check your wall. It's killing me when I watch these uh, rallies and what people have on their wall. So, another thing is, is if you're free-to-play or even pay-to-play, if, if you're pay-to-play and you're building a trap, you probably don't want to touch this, but free-to-play... You're going to want to get in here and do some, I don't care if you're a trap or not, you need this monster hunt because it helps out so much from hitting monsters, the gems you get. And as you guys can see, the economy, I have started my military. Army offense won, and I can finish it. I think I'll wait for another watcher event and finish it, and then we're going to start unlocking T4. Finally, guys, getting there. And you've seen in my last video that I also have started tearing down my infirmaries. Yep, I'm going to get rid of them, build manors, and we're going to boost. We're going to get so many more uh, T2, it's going to be crazy. We're going to use all the gems and everything for T2. Hopefully, I, I still would like to keep my might around below 250. It just uh, it'd probably work out better and entice more attacks, so... I don't think I missed anything, guys. Uh, a good thing to do with with uh, guild coins. Uh, I wanted to go for guild coins. This is all I do. I do keep a migration scroll. We migrate quite a bit. And I'll make sure I keep enough guild coins to get that migration scro scroll. Um, but other than that, I'm in here always just every once in a while buying three of these and opening three. Jewels are the hardest to get, guys, even if you pay to play. Uh, I'm always doing this, and I'm always helping on the guild to get these. Uh, guild coins are super important for me to get uh, these gems. Well, we're going to stop now because we're not getting anything good in there. But that's a big one. Monsters, guild coins, stay updated, guys. Uh, get all that stuff done. And I think that's about it, guys. I, we just migrated, so all my resources are gone, so i got to restart. I do gather. I know a lot of people say don't gather, but I do gather. I always have a boost on gathering. As a matter of fact, I think my boost ran out, and we have plenty of them. We have 19, so I'm always boosting and gathering. Try not to leech off the guild too much and help out and do my part. I want to... I want to let everybody know also here, we're going to start what we call in this guild a monster bus. And it's basically everybody in the guild has to kill at least five level two monsters. And I'm going to post a video on that. I think it's tomorrow or the next day. Uh, we'll get back to you, but you guys stay tuned. We get some crazy stuff from these monster bus. I, I mean, you have to, you have to empty your guild gifts non-stop during this monster buffs they're 800 gems right there guys from an uncommon uh, monster box so we do this I, I don't know how often we do it uh twice a month maybe more once every other week and it's huge we actually even have people just come in just to get into this monster bus to kill five and i know people that will kill 10 of them um, I kill a minimum of five. I, I even use my energy to help out with this. It's a it's a sweet deal, and we'll see that 174k gems will jump up at least 10k from this monster bus. And I'm going to go through and go through all those gifts and do a video on the monster bus. Show you guys killing my five, maybe more. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, it's pretty sweet, guys. It's a good idea. I'm not sure, probably the leader in our guild came up with it, or an R4, but a good way to get everybody involved in the guild, and it's it's fun. I, th I think we do it for around 15 minutes or so, killing 
there's hundreds of monsters that die. I mean, you got a hundred people in the guild, all killing at least five. That's five hundred level two monster boxes. I know people are killing level threes and fours. So yeah, stay tuned. We are gonna do that, and I'm gonna show you the gifts from it. It is crazy how much it boosts you up and helps you out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I answered your questions. Uh, kill monsters, guys. That's how you grow. If you're free to play, even pay to play, you get in those big gills. That's how you do it. So hopefully you got anything from this video or something. Uh, we will talk to you soon. All right, later.